Cultural leaders representing over 30 countries from across the world have gathered at the Scottish Parliament this August for the Edinburgh International Culture Summit. This summit is a collaboration between the Scottish Parliament, the British Council, Edinburgh International Festival, the Scottish Government and the UK Government. This is the second cultural summit following on from the great success of the summit in 2012. It is an opportunity to bring you together in the midst of Edinburgh's renowned festivals. And so soon after, Glasgow played host to the Commonwealth Games, during which we saw great sporting and cultural events, which also brought people together from across the world. During the three-day summit, culture ministers debated the issues on the theme of culture, a currency of trust. International experts in the field of culture, including philanthropist and businesswoman Nandi Mandela, the granddaughter of Nelson Mandela, addressed delegates at the summit. A nation that refuses to learn from other cultures is nothing but a nation of idiots and lunatics. But to learn from other cultures does not mean we should abandon our own. That is a quotation from former president of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere. Culture is about self-knowledge. It is dynamic, it is adaptable, and it is always changing. At a micro level, one's language, different forms of cultural expressions, performed arts, visual arts, as the core of who we are. All this informs who we become and our individual role in a global environment. This year's plenary sessions were open to the public with detailed private policy discussions around three interlinking strands, values and measurement, advocacy and identity, and cities and culture. This included MIT's Kent Larson, presenting new augmented reality technologies being developed for the growth of cities for the future. We've been exploring this notion of the neighborhood, this, this urban cell, which is a compact community where people live and work and play. It's so critical that we get the design of cities right, and we are not doing that uh, because 90% of population growth will take place in cities. And what's critical for innovation is to trigger interactions because some percentage of those interactions will be creative, which then leads to innovation. The summit drew to a close on Tuesday with a special performance from Lady Smith, Black Mambazo. Thank you.